بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم دس از آر سائنس کلاس اینڈ ٹوڈے وی ول اسٹڈی نیو یونٹ یونٹ نمبر سکس بٹ بیفور اسٹارٹنگ آر نیو لیسن آئی وانٹ ٹو آسک سم کوشچن کوشچن نمبر ون اسٹوڈنٹ واٹ از دس ویری گڈ دس از اے پلانٹ دا سیکنڈ کوشچن از کین یو ٹیل می آل دا پارٹس آ پلانٹ آر سیم نو آل دا پارٹس آر ناٹ سیم ویری گڈ کوشچن نمبر تھری ہاؤ مینی پارٹس آ پلانٹ یس دیر آر four parts of a plant so today so today our topic is parts of a plant a plant are the um, uh, a plant have four basic parts the first one is roots which is underground the first part is roots The second part is stem, straight, which is straight, on on the ground. The third one is leaf, which is in green color. The fourth one is flower. When the flower change into fruit, this is the fifth part of a plant. Some plants have fruits, having fruits. and some plants having no fruits some plants um having no flowers we have learned it in unit number 5 so today we will discuss the parts of plant the root hold the um uh, plant a under the ground and it absorb water from the soil the second part stem stand straight the plant on the ground the third part is leaf leaf make food for the plant under the sunlight and air the third the fourth one is flower flower some flower change into fruit and we get fruit from the plant vegetable from the plant now student we will read this lesson parts of a plant think back do you remember the basic parts of a plant yes The basic parts of a plant are roots, stem, flower and leaf. These are the key words leaf These are the key words leaf, stem, roots, flower, fruit, seed. Seed uh, is in the fruit and seedling read and share it is allah subhanahu wa taala who splits out open the seed in surah al-anam allah said that this is the power of allah who split mean allah open the seed and coming out the plant from the seed this is the power only with allah now we will read this paragraph like humans and animals plants are made up of different parts that do different things and keep them alive these parts are the roots stem and leaves many plants have flowers and fruits too you have learned in lesson number 5 that some plants having flower some plants having fruits the roots sprout 
from seeds and often grow underground underline the word sprout and write it mean coming out then hold the they hold the plant in the soil the roots hold the plant in the soil like this they also take in water from the soil the roots absorb water from the soil okay student next page plants give us food some plants grow out of seed when we eat the fruits and vegetable it have seeds and the new plants coming out from these seeds stages of growth how to uh, a plant grow now in this page we will discuss it the seed is buried in the soil when we grow a seed under the ground it's now the second stage is this is the first stage when we put the seed in the soil the second stage is it splits open now the seed is splits open the color is change the third stage is the root begins to grow down into the soil now this root is coming out from the seed and going down in the soil the fourth part is stage is the shoot grows up now from the seed this the plant is grow up this is called shoot this is called shoot the fifth stage is the roots and stem grow stronger now this roots is becoming stronger under the ground and now the plants um, uh, have leaf and also stem first the stem then leaf this is a plant these are the stages of a plant this is a process through which a seed grows into a seedling and then into a healthy plant do you know a potato is not root it is a stem which grows under the soil it mean that potato is a stem this is not root this is stem and this stem is grows under the soil now look at the video the stages of growth what is germination when a seed is sown into moist soil it begins to grow this process is called germination it occurs in the following steps the seed coat splits a tiny root grows downward and a shoot grows upward This produces a seedling of a plant which ultimately grows into a new plant. After some time the plant bears flowers. The flowers produce fruits and the fruits have seeds in them. All seeds can germinate when sown in moist soil under suitable conditions to produce new plants. By natural or man-made processes, these seeds are sown into the soil again and that is how new plants are born.
now student this is evaluation time now i want to ask some question about this lesson that what you have learned how many parts of a plant very good there are four basic parts of a plant can you tell me the names of these parts yes very good roots stem flower and leaf who can tell me the fifth part of the plant very good the fifth part of the plant is fruit okay student now tell me what is the function of fruit yes root absorb water from the soil and it hold plant in the soil okay students now tell me what is the function of leaf very good leaf make food for the plant now tell me what plant give us yes plant give us food okay student mm, who can tell me uh okay student now tell me which part of a plant grows upward yes shoot grows upward and which part is grow downward yes roots grow downward well done now we will we will do this activity in a dish place some wet cotton put some lentil seed on the cotton and water it every day keep it in an open place soon you will get a new plant you will observe that first a seed produce roots and then shoot okay student this is wet cotton you can see it now put seeds on it like this yes and water it every day water it every day like this so you will get a new plant which coming out from this seed you will observe that first a seed produce roots and then shoot do this activity in home thank you okay students points to remember plants have some basic parts for example roots stem and leaves many plants have flowers too these are called flowering plants do you remember plants give us food plants change as they grow a seed grows into a seedling and then into a healthy plant remember these points now work it out color and label the pictures in the order they occur 1 to 4 the first one is what is this this is seed and where it occur yes this seed is under the ground now the second one is what is this yes this is now the root coming out this is root coming out from the this is also under the ground now look at this 
look at this part this these are roots which occur under the ground and this is what is this this is shoot which is occur on the ground this grow upward write these they are named here and color these pictures okay students now we will do exercise question answer the first question is answer the following questions the first question is write down the basic parts of a plant yes tell me yes the basic parts of a plant are st roots stem leaf and flower question number 2 if you cut an apple what would you find inside yes very good if we cut an apple we will see seed inside question number 3 what changes do you observe as a plant grows yes very good we will see we will observe that the seed uh, the plant change into roots then stem then leaf and flower and there are many parts of a plant write one function of roots question number 4 write one function of roots yes the function of roots is to absorb or take water from the soil which part of a plant grows upward shoots or roots shoots are grows upward now question b draw or paste the pictures of two seed bearing fruits shown in this unit okay student now draw or paste a picture of two seed bearing fruit which is shown in this lesson you have seen okay now take picture and paste here which have seeds like apple like orange you can paste many pictures but which are shown in this lesson paste here or draw here one here and one there thank you okay student these are the these are the answers of the questions the first question the first answer is the basic parts of a plant are roots stem leaf and flower the second answer is if we cut an apple we will find seeds inside the third answer is we observe that plant change into different parts like root stem leaf and flower the fourth answer is the function of root is to take water from the soil the fifth answer is shoots are grows upwards okay students write these question answer in your uh, science notebook draw margin line write date and day and the topic question answer and then write these neat in your notebook thank you